Michelle and in this video we are going to create a Facebook friends list and explain how to use it. I am Michelle Fernandez and I'm all about helping you create a balanced life and a thriving business. So first and foremost, if you're using Facebook to market your product or service online, I encourage you create a Facebook business page or a fan page. So this is my business page right here. And the reason why I encourage you to do this is because the most important thing is that you can keep track of your metrics on your business page where on your personal page you cannot do it. And also you can run Facebook ads. And you can run these ads at such a minimal cost per day and more importantly, you re can really narrow in on your niche and find that target audience that's just right for your product or service. As well as, you wanna be able to create your brand awareness by providing value to the people who like your page and you do that through consistency. And the goal is providing value and being consistent is to get people to know, like, and trust you and want to do business with you. So the whole point of this Facebook friends list is to really bring people into your business world, right? Because there's a lot of times that I do not post on my personal page because there's certain things in business that I know that all my friends and family really don't, either aren't interested in, and I don't want them to unfriend me because if she, they're saying, oh my gosh, is she going to post one more thing about her business or her product? Like, I just don't want to hear it anymore. Or even just the value that I'm providing maybe just not for what they need, which is why I do it specifically on my business page because it's about my brand, right? So the whole point of this list and creating your Facebook friends list is to create something that you know that the product and the services will help some of your friends and family. You know some of your friends and family can benefit from this product or service that you're selling. So the whole goal is to bring them over into your world. Okay, let's get started. So first you wanna click on your home page, and then you're gonna click on the left side where it says friends list. So you wanna click on that, and then you wanna create a list. Now I would suggest before you do this is to truly think about who your friends are versus your product or service that you're selling. And really think about you know what kind of value can you be providing for them that will be a fit for your product or service. So think about that, create one list. If you wanna create multiple lists, that's fine too. And the reason why I tell you to create multiple lists at this time is because once you get over to your personal page and you see the length of your friends list, you're gonna to wanna to do this one time. <laughs> because if your list is long, you're definitely not gonna go back here and create a new list and then go back through all your friends again to add them to the list. So let's say my product um, is good for moms. So I wanna create a list for moms. Here we go. I wanna create a list. And then let's say I wanna create a list for prospects. Maybe I feel like some people will be good for my business opportunity, okay? or um, yeah, to join my team. So if you know the members off the top of your head, you can add them in here, but don't worry if you can't remember anybody off the top of your head, that's fine, just simply click create. Now you wanna head over to your personal page. So here we are on my personal page, and you want to go to your friends list. Okay, so in my case, I don't have that many friends. However, 1,207 is an awful lot of people to be adding to lists, which is why I had told you to kind of think of what kind of list you want to create to put everybody in a category. Okay, so let's take Julie. I'm going to hover over friends, and I'm going to put add to another list. And when I do that, whoops, here we go. I should find my moms, here we go, moms. So if I click on moms, it'll give me a check. So now, Julie is add to my moms list. Now, if I wanted to say, oh, maybe Julie would be a good prospect, I can also click on that. So now she's on multiple lists. Now you don't wanna add everybody to everything, 
But as you're going through them, like seriously think about what you want to add them and who you want to add them to. So you would simply do go through your whole list and go ahead and click on who would be who. So once you've done that, this is how you use it and the beauty of it. I think this is genius. Okay, so when you go to post something on Facebook, normally your Facebook is public, which means it goes to everybody, all your friends and family that um, you're friends with, right? Well, in this case, by creating your Facebook friends list, you can actually choose who should see this. How genius is this? So you can decide, hey, I only want certain people to see my post. Now this could be a post, this could be a live video, this could be um, sharing um, a blog about my product and service or some sort of benefit that my product or services offer. So all you do is you click on the moms, here you go. So now whatever you post only goes to that, that list that you created of the moms. How cool is that? I think it's so exciting. So this is so perfect for you to create a target audience. It's perfect whether you've just started in the business or you've been in the business for a while and you know that your products or services can benefit some of your friends and you're not sure kind of how to reach out to them or how to prospect them to bring them into your business world. This is ideal. And remember, you don't want to now just flood them and spam you know their news feed with your product or service you want to provide them value you want to give them some sort of benefits remember the goal is to get people to know like and trust you because people do business with people because the, remember also is that a lot of times we're all selling the same thing right unless we're super smart and we invented something totally new and different we all have similar products and services to sell. So you need to be able to stand out and um, your brand stand strong and um, have integrity and provide consistency and value of just great things to offer your clients. So I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please share it. And if you need me for anything, if you need to have any questions or you need help on anything, please post a comment below or you can reach out to me on messenger i want to help you create a thriving business through your online marketing so i will see you on the next video